Hey guys, welcome to the channel, it's Eradon. So in today's video, I'm going to take you uh, around the verse in a Halsey, the brand new mass holder that was released in Star Citizen of a 3.20, at least in the PTU. So we're gonna go inside here in the docking collar. Pro tip here, never forget to close that door because it's not going to automatically close and anyone can just follow you and get in the ship if you are not really careful and when you are traveling around the verse with a million alpha you will see uh, stuck on you which is what you're going to be seeing later well that's definitely something worth mentioning here so first we're going to go upstairs here in the upper deck there is this ladder here that we have to take very utilitarian very functional ship indeed not a lot of things up there can check some of the components there's this uh, seat here where you'll be able to use the tractor beam to move some uh, containers i guess in the future and then you are going to be seeing here the living quarters which is where the crew crew are for so not really a lot there we'll be able to enjoy the kitchenette that you can see there some uh, seats for bunk beds and the bathroom now there you can see the door that just closed Next, we'll go back uh, in the, the uh, lower deck, or the main deck, where you have the escape pods here. And at the back of the ship, that is where you'll be seeing the tunnel, which is uh, very useful um, if you want to be going in the back of the ship. I suppose there's uh, the airlock access right there. I think that this tunnel actually extends if you extend the ship a little bit. And in the front, of course, you have the bridge here, a fairly standard bridge if you're used to the staffer from MISC. Very MISC-y indeed when it comes to the layout as well as the canopy. Forget, forgive me about the uh, sound quality. Uh, 3.20 still has a lot of sound issues as well as 30k errors. So, uh, I am at Seraphim Station here and I want to show you what you should not do if you fly the whole sea for the first time. So I'm going to undock here and I'm going to leave the station to go to a random outpost because I think that the episodes of Inside Star Citizen were very confusing and I learned it the hard way. I learned it by basically flying the ship, but when I watched the episode of Inside Star Citizen, I thought that we had to go to the outpost first without opening the ship and then buy the whatever commodities you will find at the outpost and then go back to the cargo decks where you would get your commodities which didn't make any sense to me but that's what i understood for some reason maybe because i'm not a native english speaker and that's not that wasn't really clear if also you too did not really understand that let me know in the comment section down below but anyway I also noticed that by going to the outpost and flying in atmosphere, the ship is extremely heavy and very difficult to maneuver. I also noticed that there is an elevator right there, which is uh, quite useful if for some reason you need to leave your ship outside of the dark color. So to confirm that we can't do that, well, here I am I'm here at the outpost selecting the whole seat and uh, none of the local commodities are available simply because the ship is not compatible so we're gonna go back to serum station and do things the right way after another 30k i died for some reason and did you notice that the uh, medical gowns were white for some reason also i think they changed the color i don't know what do you guys what do you guys think of the new medical gowns let me know in the comment section down below as well so now we are at the admin here there are a couple of new commodities that have been added here including helium copper and hydrogen so we'll pick up the whole c here and you can see that this time we can buy those new commodities attention the vehicle must be brought to a cargo deck to complete the transaction so uh, keep that in mind not a lot of cargo there so we're going to do a split here with 2000 SCUs of copper for 644,000 alpha UECs there you go thank you very much that's it and also we're probably going to be buying here the second most expensive commodity which happens to be helium so we'll be buying this here 2,400 SCUs for 457,000 Alpha UEC. So a little less under the million Alpha UEC. It will be interesting to see how much money we make out of all of that. Again, none of that is on the ship yet. I need to go back to the ship and I need to go to the uh, cargo deck area 
outside of the station. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Uh, again, this time uh, for some reason I uh, got the ship spawned in a hangar, so knowing that there is an elevator indeed was quite practical. So I'm outside. I can't think but uh, to think that the uh, looks of the ship is very funny in the MFD. Uh, so open the swindle here from the... Uh, I, I didn't find the, the, the hotkey for that, so I just used the little command uh, which is on your left in the cockpit. And then you have to press 11 to call for the cargo area. Now, I noticed uh, some um, various interactions between the two ATCs, the cargo and the regular one of the station, so it's probably a bug, and uh, hopefully this is going to be fixed during the PTU process. I also noticed just how difficult to maneuver the whole sea is. That ship is massive, and when you are flying this ship, it definitely feels that it is massive so we're gonna have to do this really 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 smoothly otherwise you're just going to be losing your direction and you are not going to know where you'll be going so going inside this uh, cube here which is uh, the highlighted area where the transfer will be happening just make sure that you are at the right place i noticed that there's not really a cue that tells you if you are Welcome on the on the right here. direction or the yes. right orientation yes. of the ship so that's something that you're going to have to figure out by yourself i also think that this process is quite janky as a result because sometimes you're unable to transfer but you know you're not moving or you're right in the area and you're basically at the mercy i think of Ooh. the uh, server setting so if your server is in a good state it's going to be working fine but as you're going to see at the end of the video if the server is in a terrible state then uh, you might be completely stuck you are also at the mercy of anyone who is um, are in the area and decides to ruin your experience. They can just go inside that cube and it will tr stop the transfer of the cargo. So that's also very annoying. And I hope that Cloud Imperial Games are going to find a way to uh, prevent that from happening. Anyway, we are leaving the area here, leaving Crusader. And uh, I'm going to go to another planet. Lots of choices here. I can go to Lorville. I can go, well, Lorville. I can go to Hurston. I can go to Microtech. But I decided to go to Arcorp because I don't go often to Arcorp. And uh, I like to change from time to time. So next, we're going to go to Baijani Station and dock. As you can see here, the docking process, ooh, it's really not easy as well. And I suppose that if you are getting more experienced, more acquainted with the game, it's something that will be easier to do. But uh, it was my very first time to dock on the station and it took me a while to uh, get a hold of it. Anyway, uh, now at the admin again and it's going to be time to sell the helium and the copper. So selling everything here for a profit of about 100,000 of UEC, not bad for some helium. And I'm going to repeat the same process for the copper uh, for uh, about, by the way did you notice that uh, the transfer has uh, not been processed yet because we're gonna have to go to the cargo area later but anyway uh, let's uh, sell the copper here for 745 of a UEC same about a hundred thousand of a UEC and uh, the profit is about 20 percent for everything which is the regular profit that you would do for a regular trade run with uh, Mercury's uh, sorry or Mercury Star Runner or any other ca cargo uh, maybe a C2 as well those ships that we normally use for cargo or uh, cargo run right anyway that is all for this video as I said the server was not functioning and uh, the transfer was just not working everything was stalling it's just not just me but also other players too but normally uh, if the transfer is complete here, that is when finally the money is transferred into my bank account, guys. So there we have it. This is how you get to play with the whole sea in Star Citizen. It's very early, PTU, Wave 1. Uh, there's a lot of work to do. As you can see, right now it's very junky, but I do hope that with our feedback, Cloud Imperial Games are going to be able to fix all of those issues. This video was made possible thanks to the people who support the channel on Patreon or via the YouTube Job Membership Program. If you too want to support the channel, you have the link in the description down below. A big shout out to Dr. Robin, Zero Crusher, and Deplorable Fidel. I've been Irad, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.